Ladies and gentlemen, this glass vial in my hand contains a new kind of material that will change how the world stores, transports, and separates gases. This material is called the Metal Organic Framework, or MOF, a revolutionary new class of material that has trillions of identical nanoscopic pores. Our company, Numat Technologies, will create, market, and sell MOFs and MOF-based technologies. Now, because molecules of gas stick strongly to the surface of their pores, MOFs soak up gases just like a bath sponge soaks up water. But what's really exciting about MOFs is that compared to other porous materials, MOFs have extremely high surface areas, significantly beating the previous world record held by activated carbon. And unlike activated carbon, you can custom design the pores of a MOF to be sticky to certain molecules, but not others. This makes MOFs perfect for both storing and separating gases. Combined with being cheap, easy to make, and extremely light, this is a material that can revolutionize the gas storage and chemical separations industries. So, why haven't MOFs been commercialized already? Until now, there were two fatal obstacles, inactivation of pores and long development times. You see, MOFs are created in a liquid. And because their pores are so tiny, and because they stick, so strongly to any substance inside them, nobody has been able to get the liquid out. <laughs> we have solved this problem with a patent pending supercritical activation method that is so reliable it has been adopted by over 30 research institutions globally. Now, finding the right MOF for the right job out of the millions of possibilities is a significant obstacle that normally takes many years of research and development. But we have eliminated this obstacle with a high-speed computational tool that automatically identifies the best MOFs at a rate of hundreds per second. In a breakthrough demonstration, we identified 140,000 new MOFs and found one that had the highest natural gas storage capacity of any known material in the world in three days. That is 14 times the number of MOFs that have been discovered in the last 15 years. These technologies are game changers, and here's why. Today, taking a MOF from concept to product relies on chemical intuition. And while specialists are good at identifying regions of high performance, no human is able to pick the best MOFs out of the millions, so people just guess. At this point, several months are required to make, activate, and test the proposed MOF designs. Inevitably, the first guess always fails on some level, and we are forced to guess again, and again, and again. Each guess takes months of manpower, and there's no guarantee that even after five years of development, a winning design will be found. Now, in contrast, Numat Technologies uses algorithms that quickly scan through all of the possibilities and accurately predicts the best MOFs in just a few days. This eliminates the guess and check approach and reduces development time significantly. I'd also like to point out that in either case, our supercritical activation method is a required step for high performance MOFs and that both of our technologies are our protected intellectual property. How accurate are, are our simulation predictions? Here's a graph of our computationally predicted gas storage capacity for one of our MOFs. On the horizontal axis, we have increasing pressure on the vertical axis, we have increasing gas storage capacity. We made this MOF, and when we measured its gas storage capacity, it was in nearly perfect agreement with our predictions. Importantly, when we lowered the pressure, we measured that all of the gas came out. Because of its transformational potential, our technology is highly sought after. And Numat Technologies has signed several NDAs, and we are in active discussion with key chemical and industry players all of whom are potential customers or collaborators and who are asking us for MOF samples today. Thanks, Chris. Our technologies are based on 10 plus years of MOF research at Northwestern University, with, with, with which we have signed an exclusive option to license of key MOF-related IP. 
Our robust patent portfolio includes three issued U.S. patents, five pending patents, and two provisional patent applications. Our patents cover composition of matter, methods of manufacturing, post-treatment, and our software code. Our team has also attained copyright protection on our software code and on the 140,000 generated MOF structures. The two key innovations that distinguish NUMAT are rapid computational discovery and supercritical activation. These inventions are competitive chokeholds and we will continue to expand our patent portfolio further. We recognize that IP strategy is critical and we are engaging a top law firm. In addition to our strong IP position, our technologies and our capabilities are differentiated from potential competitors. BASF is the first company with pilot scale synthesis of MOFs. However, their MOFs are produced and sold in an inactive form. BASF lacks our supercritical activation process that is necessary for the activation of high performance MOFs. In addition, Wildcat Discovery Technologies, a startup that has raised over $25 million in venture capital funding, has a high throughput robotic synthesis approach. However, their approach is not hypothesis driven. Wildcat simply uses robots to mix and match chemicals, but they do not computationally tailor a MOF specific to a target application as do we. Additionally, Wildcat's invent to license business model is dependent on generating royalties, whereas we are focused on designing and activating MOFs. While BASF and Wildcat could be considered potential competitors, they could also be our collaborators. We are a platform technology company that designs and activates MOFs for use in a variety of applications, such as gas storage, gas separations, catalysis, and sensors. While there are hundreds of potential applications, we are balancing market readiness and application value to narrow focus. Today, we will discuss select applications that have proven market interest. Several chemical OEMs have expressed strong interest in our MOFs for the storage of high value gases, such as acetylene, a hazardous gas. The problem with hazardous gases is that they are volatile and must be stored at lower pressure levels in small, heavily reinforced cylinders, leading to extremely poor storage economics for both producers and end users. Our MOFs could solve this problem by increasing available storage capacity three to eight times at a lower pressure level. This would improve design flexibility and safety while reducing storage and handling cost. Also, there's tremendous interest in our MOFs for military and space applications. The Department of Defense has funded our MOF research aimed at developing better gas masks. The, the problem with gas masks is that they currently use activated carbon filters that do not protect against nerve agents. We can tailor design our MOFs to solve this problem. For space applications, weight is a premium. Our MOF-based oxygen storage and life support systems are much lighter than existing systems and would save millions of dollars at every launch. Additionally, the price of oil is rising and several trucks, buses, and waste management vehicle companies are switching to natural gas, which is not only cheaper but is cleaner. However, the problem with natural gas vehicles is that you have to highly compress the natural gas. This requires an expensive fueling station and a heavy expensive tank which is difficult to store. This compression obstacle has prevented the widespread adoption of this cleaner, cheaper fuel. What if you could use natural gas without highly compressing it? You wouldn't need the heavy tank. You wouldn't need the million dollar refueling station. In fact, if you're among the 65 million US households with residential natural gas service, you could refuel your car at home. Numat's MOFs can store the equivalent amount of natural gas at just one fifth the pressure, enabling a conformal tank design. Now, instead of designing the car around the tank, you can design the tank around the car. With our MOFs, these tanks are two-thirds cheaper than existing systems, increased driving range, and support a two-thirds reduction in the capital cost of refueling stations. Additionally, at a lower pressure level, at-home refueling becomes possible. This value proposition fundamentally changes the economics and the adoption hurdles of natural gas vehicles globally. Thanks, Sabraz. Our risk-sharing business model enables us to fully leverage our material design capabilities while limiting industrial scale-up and commercialization risk. NUMAT will focus on three core activities, material design, pilot scale synthesis for prototype development, and bulk activation of material. We will enter into joint development agreements with design integrators to develop packaged solutions incorporating our MOF materials across key application segments. 
These integrators will then manufacture and market our MOFs to end-use customers. We will also enter into long-term supply agreements with chemical producers who already have industrial scale capabilities and will invest in the required capacity to participate in these lucrative segments. These producers will manufacture industrial scale quantities of our MOFs in an inactive form. We will then activate these MOFs in-house, enabling us to control the material value chain. In sum, NUMAT will sit in the middle of this ecosystem, designing and activating the high value materials integrated into packaged solutions. Our go-to-market strategy involves three phases. In phase one, which will begin in the next six to 12 months, we will continue working with future users, customers, and partners to further define material cost and performance specifications. We will then rapidly design and synthesize select MOFs, selling gram samples for industrial verification purposes. This will generate base revenue to keep the lights on while we verify the performance capabilities of our MOFs in an industrial setting. We will run existing lab space and equipment from Northwestern while hiring five lab technicians to support gram scale synthesis. We require $400,000 of fund to phase and expect to raise this primarily through personal funds, friends and families, and business competitions such as this. NUMAT has also applied for non-dilutive government funding through a $30 million RPE funding proposal which will be awarded in the coming months. This proposal requires the development of a working conformal tank solution in the next three years that integrates an absorbent material. NUMA is part of an impressive consortium, which includes the world leader in CNG technology, a Fortune 500 manufacturer of engineered tank materials, and one of the world's top energy companies. In this consortium, NUMA is the key designer of the absorbent material which will be integrated into the tank. In phase two, which will begin in early 2013, NUMA will ramp up pilot production and partner with additional design integrators to develop packaged solutions in the portable gas storage and air filtration system application segment. We also finalize our long-term supply agreements and complete development of a working conformal tank, beginning the market scale-up process. In this phase, we'll raise four to seven million a Series A round, depending on pilot scale capital requirements. In return, we'll offer investors a 30 to 50% equity position. We also hire an experienced executive from the chemicals industry to guide the market scale-up process and make other key technical hires. In phase three, we'll ramp up production to meet market demand across our application segments. For example, production could be scaled to meet expected market demand of 20 to 35 million new natural gas vehicles on the road globally by 2020. Our analysis suggests that this creates a total market potential for conformal tank solutions of 20 to 40 billion dollars annually. NUMA has significant growth potential with a projected EBITDA of 80 million dollars in year five. This assumes that we only penetrate the existing NGV tank market by 5% and then only capture one fifth of available revenue per tank. These numbers do not include any upside potential in other gas storage or separation applications. An exit via an IPO or strategic acquisition would occur at this point. Discounting EBITDA by 50% and trading multiples by 20% would still yield investors a 20x cash on cash return and an IRR approaching 300%. Our go-to-market strategy will be implemented by our interdisciplinary team, which has the right mix of technical and operational capabilities. We are all engineers or scientists by training, and Chris Wilmer, our computational expert, and Dr. Omar Farha, our synthesis expert, are key inventors of our technology and are committed to advancing our capabilities as we scale. Our team also includes Tabrez Ibrahim, whose background is in product development and scale-up, IP management, and clean energy commercialization. My name is Ben Hernandez, and my background is in strategy, finance, business development, and operations. We are supported by an experienced team of advisors, which includes two world-renowned Northwestern professors, a CTO of a major gas R&D organization, and a successful investor in advanced material space. So why should investors be excited about NUMAT technologies? We have world record-breaking MOFs that have been tested, validated, and are protected by a robust patent portfolio. The interest in our technology is real. Several potential customers are seeking gram samples to begin the industrial verification process today. We are targeting large and growing markets, including the 20 to 40 billion conformal tank market with significant upside potential in other gas storage and separation applications, leading to multiple exit scenarios. Our capabilities have already been validated by world leading technology and energy companies who selected us as the key design partner in the ARPA-E grant. NUMET's also a nationally recognized startup that recently won the $100,000 grant prize at the Clean Energy Trust Challenge, sponsored by the Department of Energy. And finally, our team, which includes the two key inventors, has the skill, the will and the capability to deliver market breakthrough solutions. We are NUMAT Technologies. We are creating MOFs to change the world. Thank you.